Hey guys, Adam from Blue Line Flies here. Wanted to go over a quick technique with you that uh, we see guys have quite a few questions about, and that is weed guards. We get quite a few requests on uh, getting weed guards tied in on some of our patterns, but wanted to go over two different ways that you can tie in weed guards. One is a uh, little more prevalent, I think, in warm water use. One, I see a little more for salt water use. So uh, let's get started. First off, we're going to have... Uh, a piece of um, monofilament or fluorocarbon, whatever you wanted to use, um, either like 20 or 25 pound is going to be the best way to do that. So I already have a little piece trimmed off here. And we're going to tie this in facing rearwards. All these, as you pull them off, the spools are kind of going to have a little bit of a curve. You want to have that started out pointing downwards. So we're going to have this guy here facing uh, rearwards off the hook with that curve facing down. Now as we get that tied in, we're probably going to have to keep going a little ways down the back side of the hook here uh, towards the bend. There we go. I'm just going to bring that thread back up. And now, what I like to do is if you just take the tip of that and thread it through your jaws right here behind the hook. Now you just tie the rest of your fly. So your fly is going to sit right here, however you, whatever kind of fly you want to tie in, be it a bait fish pattern, whatever. We're just going to have that tied in. And uh, just for this video, I'm just showing you the weed guard. So we're going to get back up towards the front. So you would have your fly finished. You'd be ready to uh, where you would whip finish. But we're going to take the other end of the weed guard. We're going to pull it up. And tie that off. Just right underneath the eye of the hook. If you leave yourself a little bit of room, you can kind of adjust uh, how big of a gap you're going to have between the hook point and the weed guard. So you don't want it to be too tight, but you don't want it to be too loose either. If it's too tight, it's going to be hard to hook fish with it. It's gonna, if it's too loose, it's not going to do its job. So you want it to look about like that. So we've already got it kind of tied in. We're just going to finish that up. Once you get it where you need it, we're just going to come in and trim that out. And there we have it. So there's a uh, weed guard. This one has a little more of use in a uh, freshwater environment, um, mostly for bait fish patterns. We would have, uh, so as this is kind of coming through the water, if you fish around a lot of, of rocks or weeds or anything, it would hopefully hit this weed guard and bounce off before it hit the hook point. So probably not as great exactly specifically for weeds, but for if you're fishing around structure, cover, things like that, you're getting hung up on the bottom a lot. If you're fishing around a lot of down logs or trees, this would be a really good one to, uh, to use. If it's a little soft uh, for you, you know, bump up a little bit. Maybe use the 25 or 30 pound mono. So there's the first one that we wanted to tie. So the second one, I see a little more for uh, salt water on saltwater patterns, um, specifically if you fish ar around a lot of like turtle grass, things like that. Uh, that's what this one's gonna, this next one's gonna be for. Um, definitely more useful as well for like, instead of bait fish, you see some bait fish patterns with them, but a lot of like uh, crawfish, uh, I do quite a few crawfish with this kind of uh, weed guard. Um, and it's just the one where you put it, tie it directly on the eye, eye of the hook. So we're going to show you that one next. All right. So I've got my, I've got my thread started at the very eye of the hook. From here, you would have tied your entire fly, whatever your fly would have been, bait fish, crab pattern, shrimp pattern, whatever. But we've got the same uh, mono here. 
As it comes off the spool, it's going to have a little bit of a bend in it. So you want to make sure that bend is placed where it's pointed downward on the fly. I've got my thread just behind the eye of the hook, and we're going to make a couple of cross wraps. We're just going to wrap over. in an X pattern. Right on top of the hook. Then we're going to start pulling downwards. As you do that, some of those X thread wraps that you made are going to start kind of uh, sliding down that mono. I like to make a few more of those, and then the last, I'm going to make a couple of wraps. There. Then as we get that tied off, we can come in here and trim to length so that it's a little bit longer. So that'll really help if you're pulling this, a lot of uh, you know crab and shrimp patterns have the eyes down here so your hook point would ride up. If you're pulling this through a lot of grass, things like that, it'd be really easy to uh, you know have, have the grass hit these little weed guards, push things out of the way of the hook as it comes through the water. So. That's the two most popular style weed guards and uh, how we tie those in. We get quite a few custom uh, orders for people wanting weed guards like that uh, tied on some of our different patterns. So figured we would uh, reach out and get, show you guys a quick video of how, uh, how you could do it yourself. Thanks for watching. Hope you like our tutorial videos and we'll see you in the next one.